Hello and welcome back to the channel, week 5 of Manchester Marathon training, only 7 weeks to go until the big day. How has my training fared up this week? Well I'm here to tell you that it didn't go to plan this week at all, but am I phased by it? No, I'm just moving on from it, letting my body recover and really taking time to acknowledge the fact that my body is run down. So this week didn't go to plan, I was supposed to meet Mike at Running Beyond Limits over on Instagram and I was supposed to meet Davey at Happy Running Sober over on Instagram. Go check him out, two great profiles. Um, again for Mike he was coming down to do a half marathon with us with Davey and I had to cancel them late Sunday night into early Monday morning because I had a poorly child. But he went to school on Monday morning and everything was good to go so I managed to catch Davey just at Glasgow Green and Glasgow City Centre. Um, because, he, because he does live local I thought there's maybe still a chance we can still get a run done together. So we headed out and the plan was to do a sort of half marathon just around about Glasgow Green area but we kind of get carried away with ourselves and headed out towards the Riverside Museum. And then up into Kelvin Grove, sort of along the Glasgow to Edinburgh Ultra route at the start of it. Managed to get to the Botanic Gardens and got a phone call from the school to get back and pick my child up. So, as you can imagine, it was trying to find the best way to get back. So, we thought, let's well, just hoof it back. And all respect to Davy. Davy has done loads and loads of miles in that second half of the run turned into a tempo run. I'll just put the run up here. So it was a very tough run in respects of it was six miles easy and then it was like four miles tempo back to Glasgow Green. It was very, very tough going in the old legs. So that led me into Tuesday. So Monday night I was night shift. So Tuesday I thought let's have a rest day. Let's make it nice and easy today. So the plan was just get to bed, do the normal routine, get to work. Tuesday night I got to work and again feeling fine but then through the night started to feel my throat very scratchy my breathing was all over the place and I was coughing like mad my coughing is so bad I've actually took 10 times to try and record this vlog today so in the spirit of being honest and reliable in this vlog I thought I'd come on here and just share with you guys how I'm actually feeling so Wednesday and Thursday I've been feeling absolutely terrible I managed to phone the doctors and get a steroid for my chest um, and for any of you that know anything about asthma, so I have asthma myself, normally my peak float is sitting at 650 and on yesterday it was sitting at 450 so you can just imagine how bad my breathing is, there is absolutely no way I can run this week and I've had to accept that fact and for some people you might find that very strange that oh, how, how can you not run? But sometimes you know, and I think as you become, become from, I think when you come from being like an amateur sort of runner and really going through these training blocks, you learn to understand how your body's reacting to the training, how your body's reacting to life in general. And as you can see, I've got a cold sore here today. I'm all bunged up. I'm struggling to breathe. And everything's just an effort, if I'm totally honest with you. I can't do anything without coughing, I bend down a cough, stand up a cough, try to walk the dog a cough, it's just, it's terrible. So, as I said, in the true spirit of being honest with you, this is how my week has went. So, with that being said, week 5, done and dusted, I'm going to finish on 10 miles, 10 miles for the week. Am I bothered, you might ask? Really, no, because I know that in myself when I'm fit and healthy. I could drop a marathon like that. Is it going to be the time I want? Maybe not, but I'm going to spend it with some good people and good company all around me down in Manchester. So, are you going to the Manchester Marathon? If you are, then leave a wee note down in the comments below. I'll try and look out for you. As for the same for yourself, get yourself a wee shot on the vlog here. So, with that being said, I'm going to just rest the rest of the day again. Everything feels like an effort and I hope you appreciate that here that I'm being honest and reliable over on this channel. So let's get this week done. Let's get this run done would normally what I would say. Let's get this week done and 
let's not get too bothered about it. Let's not get hung up on the fact that I'm ill. Just give the body time to recover because that's what matters. And if you're out there and you're feeling a bit under the weather, take an extra rest day because it will serve you well in the long run. So with that being said, I'll see you all in next week's vlog, week six of Manchester Marathon Training. Go out, get your goals and smash them. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to drop a wee subscribe to the channel. Thank you.